Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is powered by Fly a Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. Twin. Yo. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, excuse me. I got the giggles. But oh, Jesus. All right. So, do you want to talk about current event shit? What's there to say? Mm. It's March now. Um, Black yes, people is still embarrassing the fuck out of us. What yes. else? Yes. What else? Um, did you see the um Trini version of that video of the man outburst? <laughs> I um, you. I actually did not. People, see it. I, I did see how they put "Trapped in a Closet" music to the the interview though. That was oh funny. wow, yeah, that was funny for real. I did not see that. All I saw was the original outburst, and then I went on Twitter, and of course there was. I didn't even watch the full thing. I didn't, I just saw I'm that clip. Like, I haven't. Just, I didn't even know there was an interview to happen. I I didn't know what's happening either. Did you hear? I don't know if you heard the full story. I'm sorry because I was listening to um I was listening to the read and they're talking about the person that bailed him out because yeah, I was trying to figure out how the hell yeah, he got yeah yeah that owned like a restaurant in the child care center or some shit yeah huh that bitch yeah like. Yeah, not my kids. My kids would not he be probably nowhere pissing on her dumb ass my too. My kids would not be nowhere in your care. Like, fuck child, out of I don't want nothing to do with it. Nope. They ask so much money to release a pedophile. A hundred k, right? For that, ain't he going back in for like child support or some shit? That fucker. You see what he doing? Yeah, because I, I was just about to say too, because on the original docu um thing or whatever um surviving. His ex-wife talked about how he don't pay child support and he wasn't doing none of that. I just can't get over the fact that she kept stunning him about how he can't read. I was just like... Ooh. The fact that he's just out here talking about he ain't do it and clearly... Hold on, hold on. He, did he actually say that he didn't do it? Well, he over here... Act, you ain't hear him? He's like, yo. But did you hear him say... See, I was watching Law Abiding Citizens the other day. I don't know if y'all saw this movie. It's a good fucking movie. I don't know if you right? And he was he was defending himself in a criminal case, and he went and did all his legal jargon or whatever, and he was in here bamboozling um, Jamie Foxx. Did you actually hear him say he did not do it? He said they're trying to ruin his life. It's been 30 years of music that he, like, he did all of this running around. I don't think I heard him once well, you might be say right, I, didn't I didn't do I didn't it. Really, like I said, I didn't really watch all of it, so you might be right. He probably didn't say it. Then, well, okay, so he found a loophole. Yeah, but I feel like he's been doing that for the whole time, though, like, dancing his way around it. Like, either he's, like, throwing it in your face, basically, like, subliminally, but in your face, like, hey, this is what I'm doing, or, you know, just still doing his thing, like, without a care in the world for anybody's opinion, like, but... Oh, whatever. That's cute. Um, <laughs> but no, y'all should go watch Law Abiding Citizens. I've been like watching foolishness on um the internet and on TV. Well, not TV, Internets. but what is it? Netflix, Hulu, all them things that come with the fire stick. Um, I came upon a show called Seven Seconds. Have you ever seen it? With, uh, with Regina King? Yes. No, I haven't watched it yet, but I do know what you're talking about. Oh, child, I'm not going to ruin it for you, but watch that. I'm currently it, watching Sex Education, so after I, I heard that that, that was good, I, it, it's funny. <clears throat> like, actually humorous, or are you just saying it's funny? Like, no, it's no, funny? no, it's humorous. Oh, okay. I guess I'll put that on the next up list because you know me and shows I'm horrible. But right. seven seconds is short, so it's not. Well, yeah, I'm, I have I have plans to watch it, but you yeah. know it's got to be one of them days. Watch it. I'm telling you to watch it. Watch it. Watch it, cause talk about church and some things. And I was like, mm-hmm. the good thing. Mm-hmm. Scratch that off the list. We're not gonna talk about it this week. Mm-hmm. Talk about something else. Um, but outside my, of that, what, though, what little voice was that? That was that was my. We're scratching this I'm off the list. Get it together. Go ahead. <laughs> but um, <laughs> getting it together. I remember I lost my my accoutrements the other day, right? My wallet with all my important documents yeah, yeah, and yeah. such. So I finally decided to be an adult and stop holding out hope that my shit just going to magically turn up in my mailbox because good Samaritans supposedly exist. And I decided to go online and say, hey, we're going to order a new license, right? Mm. So I realized that my license expires this year. So I was like, what's the point in renew? Well, replacing it? Mm-hmm when it's like $28 or something like that to replace it, 
but to get a new one is forty eight dollars or some shit. And I was like, for the twenty dollars more, I might as well, you know, extend because literally what I'm gonna do is replace it for the next three months, mm-hmm. and then I gotta go pay the forty dollars on top well, of that. Right. Exactly. So me being me, I was like, I already know how the appointment game goes with fucking that shit. So I was like, you know what? Let me go try to walk in. Oh, the first time, time, well, no, this thing. The first time, I think I tried to walk in at probably about one o'clock, one two o'clock. Yeah, don't don't make that face. Because I was on lunch and it's down the street from my job. So yeah. I was like, let me see. And I, but I literally, I went and I looked. I said, oh, that's cute. I'm going back to work. Not happening. So after that, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. It's been about two weeks now. Let me just go online and set the appointment. Mm-hmm. Okay, I make no appointment. Mm-hmm. I was like, excuse me? What? For, no? Like, just no appointment in Broward County at all. I was like, okay. And then even the option, like, usually it'll say, like, it's full and you can go to the next month. Nothing. So I'm just like, so I have to do a walk-in. The ones in day do the same thing. For real? Yeah, no appointments, no nothing. Is this because of the shutdown? I don't know. Or is, because I don't know. maybe it's just been a while since I've done anything dealing with the DMV, but I was like... I, so then you go and you went and you got it. Yeah, I went early in the morning. We're well, not at the crack so of dawn. nobody returned anything? Nothing. I was yeah. like, shit, y'all could have kept the little $30 that was in there and give my yeah. shit back. <laughs> and I found, black thing? Yeah, my fanny pack. I got to order another fanny pack, too. Yeah. I, I can't sneak what pints in and nobody. Packs from? I might need one. Huh? I need one. I'm or, I don't remember where I ordered that one from, but that one was fucking fantastic. I'm on Amazon right now looking at some. But <laughs> listen, I'm just thinking about fucking the fact fantastic. that. <laughs> because I had, um, what was in there? I had um, the thing for my grandma's thing mm-hmm. in there, my little laminated thing. Exactly. I have I stole like five of them. It's fine. I know, but still. Yeah, I know. I thought y'all could have returned that and my ID. Like, come on now, my health insurance card. Like, y'all could have just kept the money because all the cards were like literally that, that same night. I closed me everything. Time. People took the money, but they sent my everything back like, with the put cash. Like, in an envelope and everything. The That's bill nice. man delivered my but, whole damn wallet with all my. <laughs> my thing is though, they could have literally taken it to either the police station or exactly. to the post office or dropped it in the. There's a drop box down the street. Because it was somewhere but in this radius because I went to the bank, remember? But people trash as fuck. Exactly. People like, oh, this third house, oh, throw, the, just throw that shit away. Yeah. yeah. They trash. Yeah. So, I was like, yeah, whatever. My credit sucks anyway, so y'all can't use my ID to go buy nothing. Y'all gonna be pissed as shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I was like, you know, whatever. Then I finally decided to order a new um, health insurance card too because I had to go to the doctor. But me being me, I have a copy of everything on my phone. So I went to the doctor. I was like, hey, can I just email y'all this? <laughs> and she was like, what? I was like, I lost my She's like, oh, my God. Me and my head, like, bitch, it's been two weeks. I should have been had a new one by now. But, you know? Mm-hmm. So I did all of that and um, fucking ended up having to go do blood work because I finally decided to be an adult mm-hmm. <clears throat> and go see a primary care physician mm-hmm. and Find out if I have high blood pressure and cholesterol and death and all everything the lovely else. things. All the adult things that you worry about when you start getting old. Um, so I had to go to lab core. Mm-hmm. Needed ID and all that shit for that too. And I was just like, y'all suck. Mm-hmm. So did all that, went to the DMV, and I literally was timing myself. I was like, listen, if I don't move out of this spot within the next 15 minutes, I'm going to work, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. going back to get my money. I'm sorry. Like, y'all just going to have to catch me riding dirty. I'm sorry. Just knock on wood. But I actually went through, and it took less than an hour mm. for me to go through the whole process. And I, I was like, that. blessings, because my picture cute. I got to show you my ID. My picture's so cute. You are aggy. I was smiling. What else am I asking? My you? afro was sloppy, but it's okay. This motherfucker here. Yeah. I know. can't. Mm-hmm. Drinking. <laughs> Hmm. What are we drinking? Because you made some shit. Right? Listen, I'm going to tell you what's in my cup. Your cup is a little bit different. What's I got some, I got cup, like two cheap red wine. A little sprinkle of Ray and Nephew. Sprinkle, y'all. Some coconut croujon. <laughs> what else is in here? <laughs> Don't tickle me like Some that. mango nectar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's about it. What's in mine? Um, almost the same thing, but I think just one splash of cheap red wine. 
But it's a little bit of alcohol. I didn't go crazy. It's going to make me want to do the Hakoba. If that's what you're calling it nowadays, yes. <laughs> Possibly. And see, my problem with my cup is it. I don't taste no liquor. Because I really was going to stop go like go to the liquor store just now. I was about to be like, damn, I don't taste it. So I know I'm going to be fucked up in about the bottom of that cup. I don't like deception. I you, do. on the other hand. Yeah, I know I love some we'll deception. Just in my drinks. Fucking just fine. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. You can keep that. It tastes good. So that's why I keep putting it, it down. It good. And this, <laughs> this blunt is just like, whoa. I'm chilling, yeah. You lean it hard. You don't see me? Yo, mad comfortable right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So why are you comfortable? <clears throat> you you want to talk about some fun things that aren't really fun? Go off. <sighs> ah shit. Let me take a sip. Go yeah, yeah, take it take a sip. Mm-hmm. All right. So, you know, as we get older. Fuck. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's about to be on some shit. <laughs> as we get older, you know, we start to realize things about ourselves and you know, the relationships we've had and things of that nature. Do you feel like closure is always necessary? Why your face look like this? Jesus Lord. Because like <laughs> do I feel like closure is always necessary? Mm-hmm. Not always. I feel like sometimes you do try to have closure with people, you know, whether it be like a relationship, friendship, whatever. You try, you can try to have closure and just make sure it's not ending on any bad note or whatever, but with some people, y'all just not gonna get to that good place of all right, this is what it is, close. We're moving along. Like, some people you're just not going to get that from, and some people are with it. Some people end stuff, and they're hostile, mm. and they're, you know, angry at each other, they're upset with each other. You can't have closure yet with stuff like that. Sometimes closure don't come for a very, very long time, and it mm-hmm. leaves que- that's what leaves question marks in people's heads and stuff. That, though, that, that is why I choose to have closure in some of my situations, or if not all of them, because it leaves question marks in your head like, damn, like, I wish this would have never happened like this. I wish mm-hmm. we could have been cool. I wish you could have smoothed it out. And then you have like malice on your heart because you know, you don't talk to that person because y'all didn't close the door. But then again, some people it's just, you just gotta be like, fuck it. Yeah. It ain't even worth it. Cause bringing you back into my life is not worth the closure I'm trying to get from you. So Ooh. it's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look don't at you dropping knowledge. Like you talk when I was leaning. <laughs> fuck out of But no, that I saw like, I was talk I was talking to somebody about this, but it stemmed from I don't know if you've seen that post that keeps going around about um don't doubt yourself because you're in a relationship with someone that was toxic. Like something to that extent. I I thought I had a screenshot of it a shot of it, but I don't. But it basically says something to the extent of like don't question yourself because someone else didn't appreciate you in this mm. sense. Like, you know? Mm. And I feel like a lot of times, like, people do end up questioning themselves or feel like shit or whatever about a relationship ending because either it didn't end on a good note or they don't know why it ended Mm -hmm. or that person was trash and they feel like they did everything that they could and it still ended type of thing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like you said, people don't get closure and they do leave a lot of question marks and people are sitting there like, I wonder, was it me? Was it, you know what I'm saying? Like, was there anything I could have done? Things like and that. And with that, sometimes they can't go forward in their other mm-hmm. relationship because they don't really know what it was or mm-hmm. whatever. They're like, yeah, it's just like an open, like a door. Not really open, but it's not closed. A door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, it's like a door that's like that and you're just like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, because, I mean... Sometimes closure is necessary, but some people need to also understand that letting go, like even if you don't get that closure, it's kind of like with forgiveness. That's me. I have an issue with that. Same, but, 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 I'm, but I'm not exactly. Yeah. That's what I said. As we're but getting I'm older, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So like, even that's what I'm saying. Like also with forgiveness, like you, I think we talked about this before. Like forgiving people who haven't apologized. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's one of those things that as you get older, hopefully we learn that. Sometimes we are not the problem in the relationships that we have that end or whatever the case is. Not to say we're perfect. Not to say uh, that at right, all. Right. But sometimes it's okay to acknowledge that that person was just either not ready for you or just not the one for you. And Period, right. you can accept the apology that didn't come or you can sit there like and they're out. And hope and pray for it. <sighs> I mean, some people don't even request it. Mm-hmm. Or say, I would like this from you so I can move on. 
They just sitting there hoping, like, yeah. okay, I hope one day you know you have to apologize to me. That shit don't ever come. Like, you... Okay. Some people, you know it's funny? Some people, though, you would think that they would never apologize for things, and you get the apology. So you don't even expect it coming. Like, you know, I sent you a screenshot the other day. And I was just like, you know, cool. Look at your face. <laughs> But because you know, I was trying to really, you know, I'm a little stuck right now. So I was trying to figure out if you meant that just whatever. But, I know but I'm just saying about like the apology. You sent me the other yeah. You actually really meant yeah. the screenshot yeah. you sent me. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I didn't expect ever. Like, you know, it's one of those things like things end. I'm like, all right, whatever. Bye. That's it. But I oh, never, you? never yeah. expected <laughs> for this person to come out of anywhere and be like, I'm sorry or anything. And I was just like, yeah. irks. Mm-hmm. What the hell? Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't respond. The shit's still on like <clears throat> allow or decline. <laughs> but situations like that happen, and the same thing where the complete reverse, where people are like, oh, I feel like they would be the one to apologize or you know come to me, and and then you sit there, you pining over this, and you know time is going by, you're wasting all of this I'm valuable life. Pride, that like some people got way too much pride. Uh huh. You thought they had pride in the relationship? Wait till y'all not together no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it bond them. How much pride they really, really got. They mm. gonna be real shook. But see, that's how you find out who you know how people really are, anyways. Exactly. But that's a lot. You know, forgiveness and moving on and all of that fun stuff. About this forgiveness thing, though. Hold up. Mm-hmm. My thing is, you can totally forgive someone and still choose to not be with them. Oh and yeah. People make it seem like, oh, I forgive you. Oh, we, okay, so we're going to be together. We're no. Gonna, no, I forgive you. That don't mean we're going to be together, though. Yeah, no. And that's, and that's fine. Yeah. That, and there's my closure in it. Mm-hmm. I just know. It's a wrap. Yeah, I forgive you, but I can't be with you. It's yeah. that simple. That's closure for me. I'm a big note taker. I'd be like, oh, that's, that's, that's how you move? Okay. Um, that was fun. Like, I. I say this all the time. I even said this today, like to my boss. Like I was that person. Like I try to save people a lot, like from themselves and like from destruction. Like I try to save people a lot. Like when I see people like digging themselves into a hole, I be trying, but you don't be listening to me. But we're not gonna go (laughs) motherfucking there. Anyways, you gonna save me right now? Do I need saving right now? I'm okay. I don't know yet. You don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't been nosy. I've been minding my black ass business, like, so I don't know yet. I don't know saving. I don't know saving all these other hoes. <laughs> Captain, save a hoe. Mm. So you don't know yet if I need saving. I don't know. I seem yet. okay right now. You seem okay. God, you seem all right. <laughs> you know, etc. And things. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> seen anything that I need to be like um about. So. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a friend, come come step into my office really quick. What you, what you got going on there? Hmm? I mean, hmm? what is going on? Knock here? knock. <laughs> but you you know when the time comes, I'll be the first one to be like, um, dear friend. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. How goes it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> me. You get one of them mm-hmm. tweets. Step into my office. You be sitting there sending me eyes like, yeah, huh? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but no, like, and it's funny you just said that too because. A lot of the times, like with disclosure and all these things, your friends or family might see that it's a shitty situation that you're in, or it's not necessarily even shitty that it's mm-hmm. not the right situation for you to be in. And because you're so blinded by being in it, you don't even, you know what I'm saying, see what they're saying for what it is. You said it best. Oh, yeah, that song there, boy. I was too young to know what I was singing, you but. You said it best, love is blind. Yes. So that's that on that. Exactly. But, and then the thing about that too, you get out of a relationship and you have like these strained feelings with people that actually give a fuck about you. What the fuck? Are you? I'm sorry. Twin, please explain this to me. What is this? What this is, is me not burning the fuck out my fingers when I get to a roach. <laughs> Nigga, you thought, not my fucking fingers. You got, I use these things. No, baby. <laughs> that ain't cute. <laughs> yo what is that the one hitter or supposed to be <laughs> you fancy let me put you on something who taught me this bell taught me this shout out to bell 
So I have a one hitter for those who don't, I don't know. Y'all know what that is? Anyway, so the one hitter, and I just put the blunt in it when it gets real, real small. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. So you won't burn your fingers. Look. I thought niggas just used tweezers. Nah, I ain't got no fucking, well, look like rubbing on some fucking <laughs> tweezers. I got hair on my chest. On my chest? You're wildin'. No. So, this, yeah, in the one hitter. It looks sick though, don't it? You want to take a picture? You going to take a picture? I'm probably going to. You should probably do that now. Before, oh, before, before it's gone. Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. Pull out the camera, yeah? Come in. Yeah, get a nice little close-up on this. Jesus. I'm going to post this with the uh, with the audio. <laughs> like, this is what we were um, referencing. Because right. I don't... I don't know why she's in the street. Oh, never in my life. Have you seen this? But, the, but don't, how it look, though? It looks... It looks, it looks, it looks innovative. It looks lavish. Mm-hmm. It looks like a Benson and Hedges. <laughs> That's what it remind me of. <laughs> Them long cigarettes. <laughs> That's what it reminds Are me of. Are you showing your age? <sighs> you just showed the fuck out your age just uh-uh. now. Hold on. Just a sec. I'm not that fucking old. My grandmother used to smoke those way back in the day when I was a wee little baby. So um, wee back in the day when you was just a little bitty baby, you, was, you not showing your age right now? Because I don't you recall it. I just heard stories. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, they were still selling Benson and Hedges up until a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they still know. exist somewhere. You silly. You silly as hell. <laughs> what the hell are we talking about? Closure. Forgiveness. That. Yeah. That distracted me. I'm sorry. That that was wild. But no. The same thing, too. Like, a lot of times we get so caught up in relationships, like you said, Eve said it best, where we don't see what's actually happening as Guilty. a whole. We just see... Uh, I'm sure most of us are, including me. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's always to me it's funny because I I laugh at the worst things. Um, When I step back and I'm like, whether it's before you know I'm saying we break up or after the breakup or whatever, and I'll be like, damn, Mm -hmm. like you get that moment of like clarity and realization, like ding ding dumbass, (laughs) dumbass. That's how you be talking to yourself? Oh, you don't want to hear how I talk to me, especially when I be sitting there and it's like all the red flags and shit start, like, you know, popping up, like you say, like you have that hmm. moment where you're just ding, 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 ding. And I'm just like, what's your dumb ass, yo? Yeah. I'm like, wow, you definitely saw this and this coming and you still decided to whatever. But you just got to, you actually, what, charge it to the game, they say? Yeah. Yeah, so charge that shit to the game and just, you know, that's what it is. You I'm go a, through what you go through. You mm-hmm. have to go through certain things to learn certain things. So that mm-hmm. that is what I, that's how I deal with life a bit. So I don't get depressed and sad about certain shit. I go through certain bad shit and I'll be like, you know what? I had to go through this to learn something. Yep. And it's like, and then when you see that shit happen again, you ain't learned the first fucking mm-hmm. time. So that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Pay attention to what's going on. And like I said before, I'm a big note taker. Like, I like to let people hang themselves. Mm. You know? I used to love that saying. I, I let people hang themselves. You want fucking rope. You want yeah. all that shit? Let's see, yeah. how, let's, let's see you hang yeah. yourself with it. Facts. And my boss said something to me today, and he was like, well, you're saving people, and you're giving them all this rope, but what about self-preservation? And I was like, ooh. Ooh. Self-preservation is what's shit. going on today. I was like, damn, just. Slap me in the fucking throat, nigga. Damn. Like, he, I was like, whoa. He caught me off guard when he said that. I was like, you know, you're absolutely fucking right. Well, I'm to you. Because I'm sitting out here trying to save you. I'm in need to save him. While you fucking me up, basically. Me need to save him, but me I see you. Mm-hmm. Story, story of, oh, boy. Like. So I was like, and it was a work-related, like, conversation while I was uh-huh. saying that because... <laughs> For those who work with me and are listening to this podcast, mind your fucking business. But um, basically, my new manager, because my boss is like, the person I'm referring to is like my boss's boss. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So me and me having like some real ass conversations sometimes. But my direct boss is, I don't know if he's able to handle the position that he's in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And somebody's not qualified. I'm the type of person like, when it comes to work, I work. Like, if you've ever worked with me, you know that I come into work, I work. Yeah, I talk this shit. This girl and, got a strong know. work ethic. Yeah. Don't be like me. <laughs> I'll be sleep. 
<laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. That used to be that used to be, me, but now I don't play. I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, like I I'm I'm one of them working ass niggas. Like I come to work to work. I'm not one of those people that clock in just to just to collect a check. Like the I puss, can't you didn't come to pussy foot. Is yeah. Pussyfoot. <laughs> pussy foot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the pussy foot. Mm. But you know what I'm saying? I I don't know you where it came to put from? your foot in a pussy. What? Okay, just a question. Go. Somebody asked if they could do that to me before. Okay, so good night. Keep going. Next. Ooh, nope. Mm, your foot clean? But no. So I was... <laughs> your face. Better question, because you know me and the feet. For y'all who didn't know, me and feet, I don't really like feet like that. Don't put your foot on me like that. Unless you my like, unless you my woman, then like she could get away with it. But don't put your foot on me. Don't wiggle your toes around me too too much. I don't like people who just sit and wiggle their feet. I feel like you're weird as fuck. Like stop moving your fucking foot. That shit is bizarre. Once again, unless you're my woman, I really don't like it. And kids and babies and stuff and like grown people. But like y'all regular age, my fuck, like move your feet. Like I don't care. They pretty. Oh, your feet look good. Oh, get the fuck out of here. I don't want to put your foot in my mouth. I don't want to do none of that. Like. <laughs> And y'all just be putting y'all foot on people's face. I will break your fucking ankle on me. Oh, no. 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 I'm sorry. That foot shit. Can't put their foot in your face? None of that. Like, I'm not sucking no toe. I'm not licking no toe. No? Have you ever? I have never done it. Really? Once again, my wife probably... You've mm-hmm. never sucked a toe? Pro- the only no, like only my woman is getting that from me. Like wow. and I got it. Leah, I've never done it. That's okay. Like Ain't I'm you like the, the champion of have I ever? Never have I ever? Uh, yeah, but every I get this I guess I slip right through when that shit come up. I'll be like, this nope, shit. not me. What the fuck are you talking about? Like people toe on your mouth. <laughs> like, what are you talking about she's right not, now? She's touching her mouth. Why is why is your toe like on my lip? Oh, That's God. how y'all be happy. These bum bumps and shit. Nah, mm-hmm. I ain't playing with y'all, man. No foot. Don't don't judge me because some people feel the same way about booty holes. So oh, okay. So okay, here here is the debate, the great debate. Oh, Jesus. oh you don't. Hmm. All right, y'all about to learn about me tonight. <laughs> hey, so yeah, it's always oh, you don't, you don't, you won't lick or suck toes, but you eat booty hole. Are you in you know, Bati, Whatever, Bati wash. Whatever, like Bati wash. Miss sorry, but. Me put my name in my before I'm going to put my phone on. put my phone on for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. Unless, uh, unless I'm, you know, then I'm just like, whatever, whatever. I'll be sure to let y'all know how that goes. But, um. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm like, you know, I don't know. It's a, I think maybe it's like too much. It's like, if it was like a toe. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you got like five of them joints on there. It's not the big toe. It's, it's kind of... No, like, I don't... No! The baby toe? No! None of that... The, nah. Next. You do the baby toe. Just turn it to the side. No? I'm going to talk Turn shit. well I, on the I, side. I, the foot. The foot. Yeah, well, rusty ass feet. Like, get the fuck... Ew. Like, ew. <laughs> if you can't tell by now. We got rusty ass feet. Not... not let me say this. Not you, babe. Because you know your, your <laughs> thing... Your thing be lit. You keep your shit cute. Babe got cute feet. But I'm just saying, it, it's no, man. And people do that with, some people do that with everybody. But some people have toe foot mouth. fetish. <laughs> Yo, with your toe mouth. No. Some people have foot fetishes, though. They like, you know, the, the, the feet. Don't look at me like that. It's not me. I'm just saying. I, you know. I know. They really got, but that's for them. And then again, like, if that's what you like to do, then you, you go ahead and do that. There's people out there that do body foot, everything. You feel me? That's for them as well. No, man, I'm cool. You know what it is? You can't do everything. You yeah. can't do every little thing. Like, nah. That's yeah. menage. Choose your battles. <laughs> yeah, for real. Car. Hmm. Yeah, because there's some people out there that's, like you said, the same way how you are completely against that, that will not give no body wash, no time of day ever. Because, you know, of course. So people are not do it to them. Period. Yeah. Huh. Then you have people who are doing and not there. Some people say they will do the foot. Not the battle wall. Some people say we do the battle wall at foot. How, how you feel about uh, golden showers? And what that mean? Like piss? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Are you saying this because R. Kelly is in the no, stuff? No. Well, oh. well, I mean but a I, combination of. How I? F- <laughs> <laughs> we talking about fetishes now? Let me tell you this right now. I. <laughs> Oh boy, this is about to be a fun story. No, it's not. I'm, I'm here for this. Hey, <laughs> absolutely not. No, um, don't piss on me. You know what I'm I saying. I want to piss on you. I'm not gonna piss on you. 
Trip, trip, trip. I mean, let me tell you. Lord help. All right, so I was in the shower. Uh huh. Once with another, you know, I'm saying another lady, and um, the piss thing, like piss on, like it was like on the leg, like you know, and you know it was warm and it felt nice uh-huh. in that moment in the shower where I know I could wash it off. Uh-huh. That was cool. I don't know, you know. <laughs> You know, it's a thing. It was see what had happened was it was warm. I think it's the warmth and stuff, and I know I could wash it off right away. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nothing crazy, nothing wild. But like people do that in their bed and stuff and stuff, and that's that's not right. You peeing on the face and all of that. What are you the- talking <laughs> about right now, yo? Stop playing with me. Talk about peeing in the face. Like I just read something on Twitter today too. Something about some girl pissed. They pissed all over her, and then like the dude shit. Uh-huh. Like people what do you call that? Go to showers is piss. So what do you call it when people shit on people like I don't know. I never looked into that a one. Brown, a brown something? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. If y'all doing that, I don't really know what to say. Like I'm curious to know like the thought process. Like why Can't you would catch you, like E. coli wh- from that? Why you want somebody to shit? shit on you like i like if it's what you do you know what i mean no judgment and know what they say r kelly that, you doing to these girls if that's what you do that's your shit literally <laughs> but um i'm just saying i i would really love to know what what you looking at coprophil coprophil a feces loving organism that's not right yeah and then like nah y'all be violent i mean oh that made me think of um what's that shit from back in the day the two girls one cup Oh my goodness! Why? I need to know. I'm trying to understand something because that shit stinks. So what you doing? It ain't oh, sexy. None of that. So what the? F- it's really good. Nah, nah, I'm good. Never mind. Forget it. I don't even care. It's not right. Moving along. Mm-mm. Thank goodness. I'm sorry. I'm online looking, doing the Googles because you got me trying to figure doing out what the, the shit is called. <laughs> and what? Huh? Everything ain't for everybody. That's why there's so many of them. Oh, what? My girlfriend has a poop fetish. Listen, let me get she off the internet. She got a poop fetish. Yeah. Nah, she got to get the fuck out. She yeah. don't have nothing. <laughs> she ain't got shit to do with me. Feet, feces, statues. These are such common fetish objects that... What? Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah. We're yeah, not... Before y'all start with all that shit, give me the feet, bro. <laughs> give me all the toes. All ten. Like, even if you got something going on, I will take 11, baby. <laughs> Maybe even 12. Just in case you got low, you know, six for six going on, I will take all 12 of them joints. I'm not doing all that extra stuff. Over that shit shit? Yeah, I ain't doing that. Give me all 12 of them joints, baby. All of them. With a little hanging toe on the side? All of them. All of them little joints. If you want that joint, be off by yourself. Like, I, I'm cool. I feel like I haven't seen anyone with that in a long time. My like, cousin, with the extra I have a couple finger? of my cousins. That I grew up with and stuff, they still have. Some of them cut them off and some of them still got uh, them. Right now to this day, like, go to the nail salon and get it painted. Type bitch. Shit. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that bitch got 11 going on and she be really good. And that's going to be just dangling. Yeah. But I feel like. And she be getting it painted. Shit makes me so sick. So they hold it to. Stop. We are in no way aiming to offend anyone. Nobody at all. Like, if you got, like, S- like 12 fingers 11 fingers that you lit like that's my more cool. of you to love the octopus oh, what Jesus Christ. listen pointless talks does not support the views of <laughs> we're not doing this but no i no honestly i feel yeah, like yeah, I yeah. Don't, don't listen to me i'm just playing i'm just playing i haven't seen like i think in a really long time i haven't seen anyone with like the extra finger like i've I feel like when I was younger, I saw it a lot. I really wanted to say something, but I'm not. Uh, probably the same thing I'm thinking. I'm ready to talk about those things. I'm, you know, we only uh 30 minutes in. What you want to um, throw I'm, in I'm there? I'm not going to go there with y'all and be like, you know, certain things was going on. Yeah. At certain times. Yeah. But y'all, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, certain little, hmm. Gorsi because, things. well, yeah. Certain, yeah. Some mix ra- up, mix up ramenous. on. <laughs> Some what? Ramis, oh, Jesus. Ramis. Anyways, um. Yeah, so I, I feel like, you know, a little dab in that. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Like a mix a lot up. Of that mix stuff up. Is not as it used to be. So yeah. What, so what has changed? Yeah, I'm asking it. Because that's mm-hmm. what has changed. Yeah. 
Because, I mean, mm, yeah. Some of y'all can put two and two together. Some of y'all yeah, still some think of y'all it's will understand what we're trying to say, and some of y'all just gonna be like, "What the fuck?" They we know we, this isn't the episode for that. Yeah, I ain't about to mm-hmm. go into that round. That's a bit much. Anyhow, today is what a Wednesday. Today is carnival was yesterday. Hold on, carnival today is Wednesday, March sixth. Yes, carnival. Yes, carnival just done in Trinidad. Yes, is it that the first lit. one for the year? No, no, that's the first big one. No, that's the first big one, but it's the big, you know, the big dog, it's the big starter, the big dog of all comedy. Yes. Um, have you seen any footage from it? Um, I've seen, well, let me see. Let's start with these celebrities. I saw, you know, everybody's seen Ashanti having a great time. Mm. Um, I'm dead. Wait a minute. Actually, having she a, have a, she have a song with Michelle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They actually have a tune on thing. But she been there. From, They've been roasting her. She been there her. from when? Because she was at Masha Monday mm-hmm. performing the song on their things. But um, they was roasting her for that performance. Talk about some. Look how she whining. And yo, <laughs> y'all yo, need to stop. I'm, I'm, I think maybe I'm growing up and I'm realizing that everybody was not raised in the culture and mm-hmm. everybody does not move. This is like the twerking versus whining. Yeah. Thing. Like I be trying to. Be like, all right, maybe you don't because you didn't. There's a difference. I, I came out knowing how to whine. Excuse me. Mm. So that's just all I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I whine. But some people, I try to be like, oh, no, no, no. Like, she's a case. Like, I saw her at one of the trying to whine. Was like, ooh, ooh, struggle. You tried like, it. You having a good time. All right, cool. Yes. Boom. But then you have the people, like, they had um a lot of the Love and Hip Hop cast was there as mm. well. ATL. Mm-hmm. Kirk Rashida, them Scrappy, mm-hmm. the Bam, all mm-hmm. them people, mm-hmm. and they were there. And I just heard they was just being aggy as fuck. Like, oh wow, these fets last a long time, and Ray 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 putting on these fake ass Trini accents and shit. I'm just like, all you right, know, that's not my favorite you got subject. Some go- Excuse me. You got people go off. People go like Ashanti go and have a real, real, real good time. Do you have people that go and just to, 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 to. just talk shit? But for me, for the most part, all the footage that I've seen. Mm-hmm. Everything looked great. Like people costume was good. I didn't really hear too much. No craziness. No really up. No uproar. It looked pretty good. A lot. A lot of Jamaicans in Trinidad this time. Yes, you saw Shensia in her. Uh... Yeah, I did not care for Shensia costume. Next, I can't tell you what it looked like. I just remember seeing her butt. <laughs> you know what kills me? You know what it is. I don't care for how she looked in the first place. Mm-hmm. So that's a big stop right there. I don't be like I. Yeah, I don't like people who everybody like, y'all. Yeah. That's a no for me. I don't. Oh, my God. Y'all be like, ooh. I be like, nope. <laughs> Turn me the fuck off. I don't, I don't think. No, I'm good. You see Patrice Roberts? Yeah, she look good. Yes. Patrice look good. Yes. Yeah. I was like, wait a like, minute. How old is she? Shanti look fuck the fuck good, too, but Shanti always Oh, I was about to say, she just, always look good, look though. Like yams. <laughs> Jesus. Always, always. Mm. I was sitting here bitter. I was like, oh, Trinidad Carnival. And a whole, a whole bunch of other people, the regulars, the DJs I love and stuff. Everybody was mm-hmm. there having a good time. Saw Puffy out there. Yeah, uh, Puffy. I saw all of us. Saw Young Chow. Oh, everybody. Jesus. Yeah. And I'm just like, what's Dream, dream Team? Dream Team. Dream Team. Yeah. Dream uh, team. Dream team. Shout out to Dream Team. Um, Cool Blaze is out there. Huh? Cool Blaze. Oh, okay. Um, um, a few, yeah, a few others and stuff was out there. Mm. It, looked good. it was a good look I think Lady Drea and a couple of others but um what's, what's the next? next what's the next big one I was gonna say Jamaica um let me check that let me check the little schedule go on top yeah April where we in February hold up it's March Jesus oh Panama on just passed too yeah the next big one is Jamaica you, yeah I know you lying whoops who else Bahamas Barbados what are they? Bahamas in there in May. Where's Barbados? Jesus, I can't see. Or it's not coming up yet. Yeah, talk about that. I don't know. I can't find family. Let me know which part. This list you're looking for? Yeah, send that man. <laughs> send that to me. I'm going to grab it one time and I'm going to know it. You know? Oh, wow. Yeah, now I just have the fat list. I'm trying to. Fat like dirt. Too. Fat like dirt, people. Yeah, I have it. All right. Um. Which part are they? All right. Which part within March? Yeah. Panama, yo, Aruba, St. Martin, is Curacao, March. Martinique, Trinidad, Dominica, Guadeloupe, Kayak, Mass, and Haiti. Here, Tigando. That's all. 
The fifth? Yeah, because today's the sixth. So, but yeah. Well, you're not in Bohiti. I know. I heard about Dominica and Trinidad. Mm, I heard about Dominica, too. April, Ochi, St. Thomas, Jamaica, St. Martin, Tampa. Tampa! The, I, every time I look at this calendar and I see Tampa, yeah, I see and I'm like, to be determined. yeah. <laughs> I wanted the updated list Crying. to this then. So, yes. So, the next big one, I guess, is us. Well, oh, St. Thomas. Yeah, but I don't think St. Thomas kind of a little about me, you know? Mm. Yeah, but, yeah, we're the next big one. But, Yo, Carnival in Cup still. But wait, list, nah, I go. But may I go? Excuse me? Yeah, I got Carnival? Yeah, I got Carnival? Who Carnival, yeah, go? You talking about Jamaica Carnival? Yeah, you're not going. Unless that's what me need to know. We talked about this. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What? Hello. Hello. We, we, we discussed this. Look that's why I asked you when you was buying your ticket. Dumb, so I can put dumb, two tools together dumb, and make rub little shillings. Don't make me cost I'm bad word. Because you got, especially after you say you're down the road from my house. Come yeah, 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 no, you're fucking up. Give a fuck. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, everybody knows I'm going. I just, you know. The, the. So we yeah, got handle? No, Rasta. Let me put in, put in like a shilling. Yeah. Um, wait, Niam. Yeah. Let me tell you. St. Vincent Carnival. What a backside. Go ahead. Um, and I had to, you know, <laughs> Problem. see how much Problem the, the costumes were coming. Problem costume start, I mean. is much cheaper than I thought they would be. Where? For St. Vincent Carnival. Oh, I didn't mean to ask. So, Come in. Play, no, me, no, play, play my switch my bumble oh. cut. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> No, them the de- 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 them dear no, yeah, no wild, them dear bad. Listen, why not for go on, sir? No, no, no jump up in my regular clothes, not gonna uh, Regular, but very. What? <laughs> oh, but you know so, that's oh. okay. Wait, the amount of questions I asked you about this. Yeah, but like whenever I get a confirmation, you know. Oh, you told me come catch on the foot of the bed, and Dog. I said sure. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think we're supposed to have a sofa bed too. You know? oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Step up in the front line. What? If you don't move, <laughs> my nigga, like. But what? Okay, we, yeah, we will talk. We, we will, will reconvene. Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so, I mean, the next big one is Jamaica. Like, I don't see. Where, did you find Barbados? I'm sorry. I need. Girl, that's, a, that's August. So Barbados? Bahamas. That's crap Bahamas. over. Crap over. Yeah. No, Bahamas. Yeah. No, yeah, crap over Bahamas. is bah- um, um, Barbados. Barbados. And that's in August. Yeah, that's August. <coughs> May- Bahamas Carnival, what, what they look like? Junkano Jun- Jun- or Junkano? Yes. Yeah, Junkano or something. Yeah, Junkano or whatever. Yeah. And then, wow. We don't really know when that is still. It's in May. That's in May. But oh. yeah, it looks so. Uh, are we next? Then Miami. Yes. Miami, indeed. Link up again, Miami Carnival, y'all. Wow. I'm still stuck on Las Vegas. Like, yo, we're on the gabies and all y'all at that be at Carnival. Like, link up for real. Oh, no. I follow so many <laughs> Instagram profiles. Um, I'm just coughing on you, my bad. Caribbeans. What I was going to say, um, I don't know who I would ask this. Is there any, like, LGBTQ friendly vets. There was one in Trinidad for um, what's it called? Where is it? I'm trying to find the thing right well, now. I mean, cool. So, um, here to stay, JA. I wonder if they're doing something or if equality, um, JA Them or the next one. Yeah, cause they did have one last year, no? So you so said they didn't? Yeah, they did. Oh, they did. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I did see that. Yeah, but um, I'm seeing like. As I'm posting and as everything's going on, you know, I just be in and out of everybody's uh, <laughs> comments and I end up in wormholes right. and all of this. So I came across a, quite a few people um, like um, in Trinidad, there's this Instagram rainbow crew TT or something like that. Mm-hmm. They had their own um, like juve type something like the day of That's or sweet. whatever. And I was just like, yeah. Progress, progress. Yes, so they had their whole paint up, paint up. And you know, I went in their story and like, 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 comment, follow, follow. And I was just like, come through, come on over. But, (laughs) but, you know, honestly, though, I sit here and I make jokes about all this, but I really am, like, so happy about the progression. Like, the Mm -hmm. fact that, like I keep saying, visibility is vital. Like, the more people who see it, the more people are able to identify and accept and, you know, like, 
shit can happen. So all of that, listen, come one, come all, everybody come out. Like, mm-hmm. you know, of course, safe spaces and such. Um, a lot of private profiles as I'm going through and adding these people, which of I completely course. understand. I mean, shit, my page is private, but y'all, that's a whole nother story. That's just because men are like fast people. So <laughs> that's my personal page. But I mean... I'm here for all of that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, if you see that, you know, where you're from doesn't have anything that is, like, LGBT inclusive, or you feel like there might be backlash, like, I love seeing men on the road. Facts. Like, especially in Masquerade, especially the gay boys, how they be coming out, and they li- listen. They're itty-bitty shorts, mm-hmm. and they be out there winding up and walking up, and I be like, yes, don't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you don't feel comfortable doing that, which I can completely understand based on where you are and et cetera, if you have the means or people that are willing to come together and make it into something that you can do another event instead of going to the big event that everybody's going to and just invite, like, each one reach one, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. I know you're gay. I'm gay. You got a friend. We got a friend. You know what I'm saying? And make it something. Spread the word and see if enough people be interested to participate. Even if it's small. You know, you got to start from somewhere. So I'm here for all of that. Like, I think I buck up in um, the Rainbow Crew um, page probably about a month or two ago. Like, not that long ago. You know, and I was just like, what is this? A little gay group in Trinidad? Hell yeah. You know? <laughs> so I was just like, that's what's up. And, you know, first it was equality, and then there's Barbados Glad, and there's, like, a bunch of them, like, within the islands. Like, y'all really just... If you live in a Caribbean island in the West Indies, whatever, and you feel like, oh, my God, I need to stay in the closet, whatever, there are, like, if y'all literally just go on Instagram and just put in your country's flag so and a rainbow flag... you don't have flag, the resources, though. Well, that too, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's just Instagram Mm -hmm. or something, just reach out. I'm pretty sure the people there are willing to talk to you. Whoever's running these pages are willing to talk to you and offer some kind of like solace or like, you know, like, hey, Mm -hmm. you're fine. Trust me. We understand type of thing, you know, like reach out. Even if like, you know, we know people suck. We all know (laughs) that, you know, we live in a very prejudiced world. It's getting better ish through exposure ish kind of exactly mm-hmm. so you know i understand the fears and the apprehension but reach out especially like there's a lot going on and it wasn't until i started looking for it that i started finding so many you know what i mean shit even if y'all go on my instagram and go through the people who i follow or who follow me like that's also a good way that i find people that you know i, I feel like would identify with the show and with what i'm doing so just a thought, just a suggestion, etc. Um, what else we got on here? I think that's good. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm pretty sure someone is waiting to find out if we watched um, Leaving Neverland. No. Um, and whatever <coughs> other, the full length of that R. Kelly something that we said we did not watch already. What else happened that was horrible? Because <laughs> that's really it. Nobody ever wants to talk about good news. <laughs> um... Whopping, you thinking? I'm thinking, but like honestly, you know what's crazy? Archie fought a dead. Huh? <laughs> Archie from Riverdale, Riverdale, yo. Archie, like Archie oh, the comments. Wow. What? His father died. You, well, like the actor, Luke Perry. Mm. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, Luke Perry died. Ooh. R.I.P. Um, that's one thing. This orange motherfucker still got us going to shit. Ciao. Who? Um, well, it's like one. Haven't mm-hmm. heard about Jesse, but <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that. That's funny how that happened. Did you? And I'm sick of R. Kelly, honestly. I just, just Did... lock him up. He needs to go to jail. No bail. That way. No bail. But no, did you see this um, video of them eating a pineapple? How they like cut off the top and you pluck the Yes, yeah, pluck it, yeah. Have you ever done that? I've never done it, no. <laughs> I'm a regular a, idiot like everybody else. somebody trying. But also, who the fuck is about to sit there and pluck pineapples like that, bitch? Not me. What am I doing, sneaking peas? Not peeps? I. Not I. The way I do it is just fine. 
cut off the top, cut off the bottom, peel off around the side, and slice it. Go about my business. I'm I'm not doing all of this that. This is why. No. I no. Okay. No. Okay. That, that don't even look right. Like it look it look like it could be cute. However, I don't have the time. That's adorable. If y'all doing like fondue or some shit like that? Oh yeah, real adorable. Cute. Mm-hmm. Um, no, damn it. I, you know, oh Jesus. So today on on Twitter, the, the eye roll for me was, um, remember Sammy from Jersey Shore? Yes. It's completely unrelated to what the hell we talk about. Yes. Show. I don't care. Sam. Yeah. So they used she to be got with engaged. Ryan. Yes, she got engaged and she's all excited. Somebody retweets it. And, of course, I'm an asshole because I retweeted it, too. And it was like, I'd imagine Ronnie is reacting in a calm and rational manner. And I was like, damn, dog. She's engaged to somebody talking about, you know, her other half, her best friend and all this. And y'all want to bring up this toxic, problematic-ass nigga. Like, really? Let the girl... I'm pretty you can't sure be happy without it. people trying to bring up your, your old shit, man. Exactly, because... A lot of people identify her with, like, exactly. I said Sammy and you said Ronnie. You know what I'm saying? So I imagine she's probably heavy eye rolling at all. This shit has 31,000 reasons. That's the rest of her life, though. 150. That's the rest. That's the rest. Of, that's the rest of her life, though. When likes. they see her, they think Jersey Shore. Her, Jersey Shore, her, and Ronnie. But she's, she's. Playing off of most of that, though, because... Who, her, like, who's this guy? Nobody don't really know him like that. He's not really in the spotlight like mm-hmm. that. They're going to be like, oh, so what's up with you and Ronnie? You and Ronnie still cool? Da, 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 da. How often do you guys talk? They're going to be like, oh, cool. Congrats to him. Anyways, about Ronnie, because that's <laughs> how they know her. Like, yeah, but she even has, like, Jersey Shore as her location, and Sammy Sweetheart is her at. And they were like, wow, that's cute that she's stuck with the Sammy Sweetheart She needs to grow the fuck up. Well, she has her own little business or whatever that she's doing. Um, something, something, something. Go you, sis. Congratulations. But that just reminded me of, like, what you said. You be doing good and people will bring up shit that they quote-unquote know you for, even if it was bad. Like, we watch that relationship on TV, and we're like, some of y'all are too young to know what we're talking about. But, Facts. you know what I'm saying? And that was, like, a toxic relationship. But that's when TV was different. What? A lot of shit was going on at that time. They a lot of a lot of freeness. Money. That's when shit was lit though on TV. You feel they me? Yeah, they was just hitting, fighting, and oh my god, yeah. he he has issues anyways. I hope he's seeing therapy, like uh, some kind of therapy. I don't know about all that. Something. Bless his heart. <laughs> what? But yeah, they used to really get into it real bad. And we used to just watch this like this shit really happening like this. Yeah. Like, the fuck? <laughs> didn't he like pull the bed from under her? Like flip I'll, the bed I'll where type her on top of, I'll of type it? Shit. Like, hmm. Yeah, that was that was that was some shit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I know what that look was, bruh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like that was duh. Oh, some God. shit. And I, I really, what I, I really want to say this because a lot of people hear these situations. Like, Why don't you just leave? Mm. You don't. That's what we going. Something we talked about earlier. Oh, also, shit. you know, you don't realize what you're in, and sometimes you do. Sometimes you do realize that you're in a abusive relationship, whether it be physical, verbal, emotional, mental. You know, all of that. Sometimes you do realize it, but. Sometimes you're in a bad place yourself, so the energy to leave or whatever the case is, you just don't have it. Or you have hope that the situation is going to get better or the person is going to change or, you know, because the relationship doesn't start out bad. You know, Facts. you guys were good at some point. Mm-hmm. They they had to get you somehow unless you just like bad treatment and, you know, they just was all types of abuse off the gate, you know? And... I really don't like when people sit there and they talk bad about people who stay in abusive relationships because you really don't know the extent of why they're staying. Facts. And I was talking to someone and they're telling me a story about someone who was in an abusive relationship, an older couple, you know, husband and wife, and everybody knew he was beating her ass. Like, everybody knew. And they had two kids. I think they're probably like teenagers, like early teens, they're probably like 10 and 14 or something like that. Something happened. I think he ended up... She finally was like, fuck this. Like, no, I want a divorce. We're separating, whatever. 
And he came by the house, like, I guess, I don't know if it was during the separation or whatever. And I gave the kid 20 bucks. I was like, hey, go to the store really quick. I need to talk to your mom. Before the kid got halfway down the block, pop, killed the mom. And I was like, that right there is the reason why a lot of people stay. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's the fear or the knowledge that if you leave or if you try to leave, it could be bad fucking news for either you or the children or mm-hmm. just everybody involved where there's all these situations where these men get crazy and kill off the women and the exactly. kids or, and then themselves all types of listen bullshit. just kill yourself and done with it like don't don't take nobody nobody's gonna miss you somebody might but no like you know and you see a lot of situations but they like they kill themselves sometimes but it's usually they kill the woman or they kill the kids and the woman or you know and it's like you, what what do you say to the woman then? Mm. Oh, you should have stayed because you knew he was crazy. Like about <sighs> mm. these types of situations, you know, the abuse thing, the domestic violence thing. Um, you never really know until you're in it, mm-hmm. until you placed in it, because you will be being abused and all this shit, emotional, physical, whatever. And you are, it's happening to you every day and you don't even fucking realize Mm -hmm. what the fuck is going on. Yes. Until, sometimes it's emotional all the way up until a point where it turns physical. And then, or, you know, just the, you know, maybe if they don't hit you or something like that, they doing stuff, throwing stuff, Mm -hmm. whatever. And then it's then when you get to that point, you're like, nigga, I've been abused this whole fucking time. Like, I'm tripping. You know what I mean? And then you It's crazy you said that. Because when I was watching the surviving R. Kelly thing, mm-hmm. his wife said that she did the seven question or however many question survey mm-hmm. on um, domestic violence, whatever. She said he did every single thing to her but one. Mm-hmm. And it didn't click to her till then that yep. she was in an abusive there relationship. There it goes. Yeah. And me, out of curiosity, I went on there to look it up. And it had things like, you know, threatening not to pay bills, threatening, like, or, you know, using something else's punishment like subtle things like oh we're not gonna go like if we manipulation make, thing mm-hmm, but like we plan to do something and because something is going your way all of a sudden plans change your plans are gone you know what i'm saying or queer or like but, like, <laughs> but intentionally i've been there but, but intentionally yeah but as not a means yeah, yeah. to like because they know it will hurt you you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so it's a lot yo that list had me like Rrr! Hold on now. Yeah, I, gotta, I, I done been in some shit. Yeah, I done been in some shit. Either yeah. I was doing some shit yeah. or it was being done to me. And but I can you admit don't... that I've been a horrible person. Too, oh, yeah. I've been I've been a trash human being, period. You feel what I'm saying? But growth. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to grow. But yeah, abusive situation ain't no joke, yo. You will be there like emotional. Getting, yo, fucking emotions beat the fuck up. Mm-hmm. And still be chilling like, we cool. We good, though, because I ain't been hit. Mm-hmm. You've been hit mm-hmm. in ways you can't even imagine yet. Yep. And some shit you don't. You some shit you will even find out until you're out of that whole fucking situation. Then you realize how beat the fuck up you are. Mm-hmm. Especially when somebody trying to love you properly, but that's a whole different situation. Yes, Lord. You realize you know, how beat the fuck up you is. Y'all should let these people love y'all properly when they come into y'all uh, lives. I'm no, because it's like what you doing over here. Say it. Also, it's like, what because, you doing here? because you've been in a bad situation before, does not mean that you do not deserve to be loved. Okay? Heard you. If someone is giving you all of the things that you deserve as a human being, let that shit happen. Heard you. Mm-hmm. If you feel guilty, I'm talking to myself. Don't mm-hmm. no, I'm not at nobody. I'm not throwing no subs. Speaking for myself to hear. Okay? <sighs> Somebody is loving you properly. Hmm. Let it happen. Don't try to block it. Don't question them on why they're loving you so good, why they're so great, why they're so patient, why they're so this and what. No. Oof. Let that shit come in. All right? Accept it. Embrace it. Stop trying to block. What is that? Blocking your blessings? Yes. Okay. All right. We're but it's talk. hard. But, <laughs> but it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's, that's why I said some people love bad treatment. Hmm. Y'all will take the butter and butter and all its fuckery and don't question nothing bad about nothing. Yo, I feel like, yo, it suddenly got really shady in here. 
Like it got it's so shady in this corner. Guilty. I'm not I am very nobody. guilty. I've I've done a lot of <laughs> let me tell you this. Let me just I've done a lot of things in my past and you know, I haven't been the best person, girlfriend, mm-hmm. whatever, friend, whatever. You get what I'm saying? So of course, you know, I feel like when karma hit, I'd be like, bitch, mm. this is karma right here. I deserve Bruh. but I but I'm also very accepting of my you? karma. I'm like, all right, come on, hit me with it. All right, I deserve, I deserve. And then I'd be the first one. I get to the point where I'm like, all right, but hold up now. Like, all right, karma, give me a second. No. It's too sweet. Wow. And then you find something, you just like, what the f nope. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way. This is a whole joke. This is karma right here to be like, bitch, I came to collect again. Off that one time, you thought I forget type shit, but it's it's a thing. It's like you like, am I even worthy? And then we were talking about abusive relationships when you've been in stuff like that, mm-hmm. mixed with you know guilt or not forgiving yourself again. Ooh. Don't forget, you got to forgive yourself for these things as well. Yes. So a lot of people carry that people. along. You resent yourself. It's crazy, mm-hmm. but like all those type of things, and then this something nice is trying to come in. You just like wait, man, wait, no, 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 no. What are you doing here? It's, you know, it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, I mean, and I know a a couple of people probably listening to this like, bitch, can y'all shut up? But it's it's true, though. Like, I know a lot of people, especially, like, I feel like a lot of it is, like, our generation, too. Like, we all went through, like, you know, music did a lot of bullshit. We grew up on music talking about fuck bitches, get money, and all types of dumb shit. Mm -hmm. And we also had, like, the sweet R&B, so it was a mix of asshole and, you know, sweetheart wrapped up in the ones. It was a lot of dog-ass shit going on. A lot of blatantly dog ass shit going on. And Mm -hmm. as you get older, you realize the things that you've done and the things that have been done to you. And I know sometimes, depending on how you were raised and how your buildup is, like, it's hard to accept good treatment. Like, I keep saying it. Like, I'm joking about it, but it's dead serious. Like, Mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know how to accept being treated well, being treated like a decent human being. So if it's happening, I'm not going to tell you don't question it outright. But question it in the back of your mind. Like, embrace the moment for what it is and stop trying to make it into something that you're not sure if it mm. even is. I've been working on that. Being yeah. more, being less, why is this happening, and more, I deserve. Yes, yes. Because someone was saying something about being grateful about, oh, my God, like, think about life in a positive way as opposed to in a Gratitude negative way. Gratitude is like, a must. Yes. Um, and they're saying basically, like, you know, instead of, oh, my God, I got to get up to go to work. Well, think about it like this. At least I have Glad a job, to, job go yeah. to Me. Mm-hmm. That is how, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. That is how I get up for work every morning. Every day I get up and go to work. That's how I get up. I get up like, do I really need this shit? And something is just like, you know how much people outside and on a job? Mm-hmm. Let me get up, y'all. That is exactly how I get to work. Yeah. But that's exactly how I try to Yeah, I be trying to be on you know, the glass Words half of the, affirmation. And the glass is half full and mm-hmm. Rather than half empty and whatever. All these things that come Yeah, I be trying from. to be optimistic. And <laughs> you know, I hear me to myself sometimes. You know what, cat? All right. I just let that go. Next. Let's move along. I can't dwell. Like, I'm trying to get that out of my spirit, too. The dwelling thing. Mm-hmm. Don't dwell. You just got to keep it pushing. Like, some shit okay, hurt. Now, you be like. Hold up. Hold up. Are we not dwelling or are we bottling? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, no, no, no. Depends on the situation. Okay. There is some stuff that, you know what I'm saying, that hit deep or whatever, and mm-hmm. then you do bottle up for a later time, but there is some stuff that you just like, mm-mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, is this even worth getting upset about? Mm-hmm. Really think about it. And when you break it down to yourself, like, yeah, you did. This is not even worth it. Scrape that. Move that. Next. It's a mistake. Lesson learned. Next. And you just, some stuff you just, some stuff is Everything isn't something. Yes. That's what I wanted to say. Everything is not something. And some people just take everything makes something. And mm. Jesus, sometimes it just don't be nothing. Stop stressing yourselves out. Okay. The facts. People, I keep, people are dead. I keep telling y'all, stress will kill you. People out here are dead. Like, stress out and beer things. Yeah. Don't do not do it. Enjoy life. For real. You only get one. Facts. Um, and I have nothing else for Nana. You got nothing else you want to add? You're good? They look on them two fish. Yeah. Two yeah. Fish, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Them two. No, I'm a good enough. Um Y'all know how this go. Twitter, Lion Young V on Instagram, them sugar underscore regular things. Follow up, follow up. Um what else I Uh do y'all have any poetry? 
Send it in. You know, I mean, it's supposed to come from my poem. Yeah, me know. Whenever they want to put it on the spot, but yeah, me know. Yeah, next time. I'm going to find it. I'll make sure I like, have it coming. I don't know if I might want. But <clears throat> I don't know. I kind of got like my little creative juices was, was acting like they wanted to oh, flow shit. in the back of my head yesterday. I was what? like, oh, shit. Then we find out the writing is coming back. So we're going to see what's tea. All right. Yeah. Um, send them on over. Mm. Askpointless at gmail.com. Questions, comments, etc. Don't forget to listen, like, share, subscribe. I feel in, I feel inspired, actually. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> when I rise down, boss. Um, <laughs> subscribe to Pointless Talks Podcast. We are available on most platforms. Everything. If not all. Everything. Um, we're on all the social media. Everything is Pointless Talks. P-O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S-T-A-L-K-S. If you like us, rate us, give us five stars, keeping a bad mind feeling them to on a cell. And just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Yeah, big up yourself, dog. Wee, wee, wee. What? <laughs>